Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to connect up your Xbox controller to your Mac. So, let's just go right into system preferences. We can find that right on top, your Apple logo. As we'll see that on the top left hand side of your screen. So just go right there, click right there, and then you guys will see the second option. It's going to say system preferences. Let's just go up to there. The reason why we're going there is to get into our Bluetooth options. So right now, don't mind this. This is just my time machine going on. What you guys should see is this stuff right here. It could look a little bit different, but don't worry about it. It's pretty much the same thing for everyone. What we have to do is down here below, you guys will see Bluetooth. Right now, it's okay if you don't see the controller because on your Xbox controller, we have to turn it on. Make sure your Xbox is off, by the way, so it doesn't get in the way of your controller. So first of all, make sure your controller's on. So we're just gonna press the X on your controller and then back here, you guys will see the sync. So all we have to do is hold on to it until we see that flashing. Keep it really close to your Mac. And as long as it's flashing, we should be okay. So right now on my Mac, I can see Xbox wireless controller. So I can just click on connect. And there we go. As long as it says connect it on your screen, we're good to go. As you guys can see right here, on my controller, it's a steady light. So that means it hooked up and we're ready to go and use it to play games. You guys can't really use it right now in order to control your Mac. It's not a mouse, it doesn't work that way. Um, but you guys can play games with it, which I'm gonna show you right now. What we're gonna do is just go to Apple Arcade. Of course, you guys can do any games for that matter, but I just wanted to go in Apple Arcade because I have games here loaded, so might as well show you guys with one of these. So what I'm gonna do is go down into Hot Lava. I'm gonna go play, so it's Arcade. Yes, um, you will have to use your mouse. You can't just use your controller right away, unfortunately, but don't worry about it. You will be able to use your controller. So right now it's optimizing. If it's not getting your device right away, I would just press the X, and that way it might make it kind of connect again with the game itself instead of you guys having to click through things. So it's best if you guys don't click, but press any buttons. Well, really the X button usually works for this. So right now, as you guys can see, controller works just fine. I can move around, I can look around, I can move side to side, I can jump, pressing A, jump, jump, jump. And use this much, much easier on controller. If you guys have played this on your iPhone or iPad or any iDevice for that matter, you guys would know what I'm talking about. It's a lot, a lot harder to play just with your iPad or iPhone when you're looking around. It's a lot harder, obviously. With controller, it's always gonna make things easier. So we're just gonna jump here. I tried to grab one of these things. There we go. I can throw it. Okay, that didn't work out. So here we go. So yeah, so as you guys can see, it works just fine. It's responsive. I know a lot of people act actually have told me that they've seen bad reviews about Xbox controllers and how they work. And yeah, I mean, the, even the Xbox controller that came with my Xbox, which is this one actually, wasn't great. It came, I think, a little bit faulty or something. But uh, the other one that I actually got, afterwards was great so i had no problem whatsoever with another controller that i got now this one i synced up to right here my mac just to test it out and see how it is anyways that would be it for this tutorial if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you